everybody and welcome back. We are here with a full body BM for you on this Wednesday. Now that we've kind of touched on a lot of different objects, we're going to introduce multiple of them in this workout for you. Nothing super complicated or crazy. It's just going to be four different movements, four rounds um, a piece. And we're going to start with 20 jump squats. Jamie's going to demonstrate those with the band and Jake's going to be doing them without. Basically, you're just gonna be doing your regular air squat, jumping at the top and coming back into a squat. Now, if you use that band on your calves instead of your thighs, you're gonna get quite a bit more of a burn with that. It's a lot more difficult, but they're pretty fun that way. <laughs> just make sure you don't lose your balance. <laughs> so for our second movement, we're gonna have uh, banded pull apart. These are gonna require a booty band to do them with. We're gonna have 15 of those. You're just going to put your arms in there and you're gonna uh, pull that resistance as hard as you can. If you don't have a band, like Jake's showing you with his uh, pumpkin cans, he is going to be doing standing flies. And basically you're just gonna hold your arms straight out and be pulling back, squeezing your traps as you go backwards. And you'll actually get a decent amount of work even with a light weight with those. So for our third movement, we're gonna have 10 overhead lunges. And if you still have that odd object from Monday hanging around somewhere, you can use that. If you have a very heavy object, I'm targeting you to pick something heavy that you need to use both of your hands with. But you're gonna hold that over your head with both hands and then we're just going to be lunging knee to the ground every time. If you have a lighter object like Jamie has and it's really not big enough or too awkward to use both hands. We're just going to use one and you can just swap that from side to side. So do five lunges on one side with the object and then swap to the other hand and do five more. And as you see, Jake's got a paint can there and fun little fact, back when our gym was closed, I did a workout at a post six and in their supply closet back there, they have quite a few paint cans. So if you happen to be down there and you need an odd object for this workout, it's a neat little hiding spot to go find some objects to dig out. So for our last movement, number four, we've got five and five walking planks. So you're gonna do five one way and then five back the other way. Again, no object needed for these. Just go one way with them and then five back the other. And that's gonna finish it up for that workout. I do have an ab finisher for you guys with this one as well. You can take it or leave it as always. So we've got 10 jackknife sit-ups to start with. Bent knees and then you're just basically going to be doing a rowing motion as Jamie likes to call them rowers. <laughs> For our second movement on this ab finisher we have 20 Russian twists with an odd object. So if you have that small object still hanging out with you and it's light enough to do these with, we're just going to be doing those Russian twists like we explained a while back ago with that object. Make sure we're just keeping that tight core and heels off of the ground. <clears throat> Jake. <laughs> For our third movement, we're going to have 10 per side of, I don't really know what these are called. I kind of just went with it. So <laughs> we're gonna be doing, touching our elbow to our knee and then our hand to our toe. So Jamie's gonna show you basically knee to elbow, toe to, toe to hand <laughs> is all I've got for you to explain. But what you want to do is keep that arm that you're not laying on straight out in front of you on the ground is going to be the best way. If that's too difficult, you can kind of get that elbow up underneath you in like a side plank position to do that movement. It'll make it a little bit easier if you're struggling with those. And I think that's going to wrap it up for that workout and that app finisher today. I hope you guys have fun with this and let us know how it goes. Here first response fitness, we are certified paramedics and not coaches or trainers. All exercises we present are shared from what we've learned in our fitness journeys. If you ask us about any medical symptoms, our advice will uniformly be that you are dying. Unless you pay us, in which case we will advise you that you are dying slower than others. If you would like to continue dying slower than everyone else, please use our community to help take control of your health and fitness. Always remember you be at your own risk, proper stretching is encouraged, and beware of excessive vagling.